The Montreal Canadiens held their annual golf tournament, which kicks off the start of their rookie camp and upcoming main camp. As usual, players were interviewed on stage after the tournament was over, and one of the players interviewed was Carey Price. The subject of his injured knee was brought up, of course, and that's when Carey delivered his bombshell. Okay, maybe it wasn't as big a surprise as that, uh, but news that his knee is getting better, and he could probably win a job in camp. Welcome to Talkin' Habs, where you get your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge. But that's not the bombshell. But there's no way his knee uh, could hold up to the rigors of playing regularly in the NHL and probably never will be. He has indeed almost certainly played his last game in 2021-22 on the last game of the season, winning 10-1 versus the Florida Panthers. Even though we know this would happen, it was still a gut punch to hear. He can't officially announce his retirement until his contract expires, so there's three years left at $10.5 million, but says he'd be okay with the uh, Habs trading it to make the team better. What complicates that, though, from happening is Carey's actual salary owed in each of the last three years. For 23-24, he's got $2 million in salary and $6.5 million in signing bonuses to equal $8.5 million. And in 24-25 and 25-26, that lowers just a little bit to $2 million plus $5.5 million in signing bonuses for $7.5 million. And all three years total $23.5 million. And you got to think, teams looking to maybe uh, trade for that uh, contract might be put off a bit by that uh, amount of dollars because when the Habs traded Shea Weber's contract, his last four years were left and he had... Three million uh, owed in the uh, in the first year of that, and then the last three years of that contract was just a million dollars each season, and that's really not hard to swallow for almost any team, and therefore made it a lot easier to trade Shea Weber's contract. Has Carey Price just retired? I know those weren't the words he said. Hearing that his playing career has expired felt like a punch. Ouch! Right to my head. Our centerpiece for 10 plus years, he carried us on his back. One of the three best ever to wear Habs gear, 807 games in total to be exact. As acrobatic a goalie as I've ever seen, he made amazing saves every game until the playoffs in 2014-15, Kreider took out his knee and he was never the same. He'd have brought us a cup a time or two if only that had not taken place. Now his knee acts like it's made of bamboo and can't hold up to the NHL pace. He says he'll stick around and help out his team. He says he's a hab for life. I hope one day to see him coaching Monty or whoever is in between the pipes. Thank you, Carrie, for the screams and the laughter as we watch the saves that you made. Your number 31 will hang from the rafters at the arena where you made the grade. So currently... Carey Price and his family are back, living full-time in Kelowna, B.C., having sold their Montreal home. But Carey says he'll be back in Montreal from time to time during the season and will help out in any way he's needed, which probably means working with the Habs crop of young goalies and being a Habs ambassador. What Carey Price's NHL future holds right now is anybody's guess, but it's starting to look like maybe a career as a goaltender coach may be in his future here in Montreal. I believe the Hockey Hall of Fame will be in his future and maybe his sweater up in the rafters at the Bell Center. The best goalie of his generation, Carey Price. Montreal will always be your home. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and please share this video.